You feel their arms around you. You feel the caring that's mm -hmm. going on here. As we had the experience and we just continued to talk about it and didn't realize just what a huge positive impact it had on us. And so both her and I are, are, are proudly leading this campaign uh, to bring uh, Sharp Hospice home to, to the South Bay. I spent a lot of time with my grandmother growing up. She um, took care of my sister and I a lot. Um, weekends, she lived by the beach and we would go to her house and walk to the beach. You know, it gave us great peace of mind to have this wonderful home for my grandmother. And we feel that everybody deserves to have a place to go to, end of life, that's loving and caring. And they just made us feel at ease that they were gonna be here taking care of my grandmother. And so she wasn't going to be alone. She was, you know, there was people going to be around her all the time. Behind me is the Tree of Life, which represents the generous giving of philanthropic donors, many of whom have actually had a family experience here. The next home will be in the South Bay, and my vision is that we are able to raise funds and build a new home about every five years in our communities throughout San Diego. Our homes that are nestled within the communities, I think that's just an awesome idea. And we have a, a complete package here that we can offer that no one else can. My dad was a patient at Lakeview Home about three and a half years ago. And within a moment of getting into bed and having the colored sheets and having clean, fresh, jammies put on, he said, oh, I feel so much better. That was within 15 minutes. Both my parents were in concentration camps. My dad was 19 years old when he went in to labor camp and my mom was 14 years old. They had a, a train full of coal and he had to shovel the coal out of the train and he told the supervisor that he wanted to do a whole train load by himself. He could do more work than any of the other bigger men than him, and that's how he survived. 62 years that my parents were married. They'd be playing a game and my mother would have jokers in her hand, but my dad would like to win, and she would keep them and let him win. <laughs> and uh, that really tells you that um, somebody cares for somebody else when they can do that. It was a great love story. I went to see my parents and my father was very sick. I and mean, she was sick too and she needed to be somewhere that someone could give her better care than I could give her. That's when the nurse suggested that she came here. You know, after my mother passed away, I was at, in, in our home with my father. I was afraid to go to sleep because I was afraid that he might need me when I'm asleep. And so when uh, the nurse suggested that, that he came here, and he did come here, that night when I went home, I felt like a son because I realized that I felt a relief off my shoulders that there's some, I feel confident there's someone capable of taking care of him, and it's not me. Hospice is really not about dying. It's about living richly and giving people the opportunity to have quality of life for as long as they have. Bill and Jane Ham are my grandparents. This home is where they left, and I think that if I need to visit them, it's not going to be where we sprinkle the ashes. It's going to be in this house. It felt like home. Everybody was like an extended family. This is somewhere I would want to be. I don't want the huge burden of caring for me to fall on my son. I would want him to be able to come to a place like this. This home, Lakeview Home, made such an impact on me. It's just such a great place that I felt I had to do something to help. And if they're going to build a third hospice home, I want to be involved in any way I can. One night when I was with my grandmother, she was smiling and staring over my shoulder. And I asked her what was she smiling at, and she just kept smiling. 
and I felt like maybe she was looking at somebody. I like to sit with patients on the night shift and just sit with them, you know, and sometimes I hold their hand, sometimes we just chat. And Jane um, started talking about, um, do you suppose there's a plan? Do you suppose all kinds of things about what might be? And I said, well, have you seen anything? And she said, well, I've seen Bill. I said, well, that's good because, uh, you know, people often see someone that's on the other side that comes to them. And she said, I, I've seen Bill. And I said, well, you know what, Jane? You're getting closer. And, um, and I said, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if in the next few days or so you're not on the other side dancing with Bill. And she looked at me and she smiled and she said, that would be so lovely. It was awesome.